McLaren team president Andrea Stella and CEO Zach Brown are absolutely fuming at Red Bull and their secret tactics. It has even come so far that McLaren has asked for the relationship between Red Bull and RB to be addressed following Daniel Ricciardo's peculiar fastest lap at the Singapore Grand Prix, which took a point from race winner Lando Norris. Does this need to be investigated? With the McLaren dominating around Marina Bay, Norris was trying to take eight points away from Max Verstappen's lead in the Drivers' Championship, having posted the fastest time on lap 48. However, that additional point was lost when Ricciardo, who was driving at the rear of the field in what appears to be his final Formula One race, pitted for a fresh set of soft tyres and drove nearly half a second faster than Norris's best effort on his penultimate lap. Ricciardo did not receive a point since he finished outside the top 10, but with the McLaren now obviously the quickest car on the field, everything might count as Norris attempts to close a 52-point lead to Red Bull's Verstappen in the season's last six races. While Stella did not directly accuse Red Bull and its sister, Team, of conspiring in Singapore, he did suggest that a more in-depth conversation regarding the two squads' proximity be necessary. This is a big matter. You know, as soon as you invoke the sportsmanship, I think you need to approach this with a sense of responsibility that I want to have," he said when asked about the call. I don't know the facts, I just saw that RB went for the fastest lap and they achieved it. But for me, here talk about sportsmanship and so on, I think is… it would be out of place, so I think we have to take it at face value. They scored the fastest lap, and potentially as part of a longer term conversation, we need to put the sport in a position in which, at any stage, being it trackside or being it factory side, teams behave in a totally autonomous manner, because this is a constructors' championship. This needs to be definitely addressed. But at no point I have elements now to say RB went for the fastest lap to support the Red Bull. I just find it a little… how to say… peculiar. I did not see it coming. I was a little surprised that the highest priority of RB racing in Singapore was to go and score the fastest lap of the race. I think we just have to work harder to make sure that this championship doesn't come down to a point. At the same time, I have so much sympathy, support and friendship with Daniel that I'm just happy that he may add this fastest lap to his track record. Norris described the two teams' smart play in ensuring the fastest lap for former McLaren teammate Ricciardo, conceding it was the logical thing to do. Red Bull team principal Christian Horner declined to comment on the matter, saying it was up to RB to explain their reasons while Verstappen's teammate Sergio Perez confirmed the team had contemplated pitting him to compete for the quickest time. I don't know what happened there, I think the team was discussing it, so I think in the end we decided to stay as it was decided anyway. I think the team was thinking about it but in the end, it didn't happen," he concluded. But when the call came and Daniel Ricciardo made his late third pit stop for soft tyres in the Singapore Grand Prix, with what may be his farewell race in Formula 1 already a lost cause. It was clear to everyone watching that he was doing it to help Max Verstappen defend his title. So, despite all of the pre-season talk about the RB team attempting to be less of a Red Bull B team and forge its own identity inside F1, it remains basically a Red Bull B team with an identity and, more significantly, ownership that is intimately linked to the incumbent world champion team. We'll probably never know if this was a spontaneous moment of insight on the part of RB's team management, a pre-planned item that will always happen if the scenario allows, or simply a pleasant outcome of the team's wish to give Ricciardo something to remember his, perhaps last, race by. That was Christian Horner's take on it, while suggesting reporters ask RB rather than expecting a clear answer from him and RB's official take in the quote it put out from team boss Laurent Mequiez. Given this may have been Daniel's last race, we wanted to give him the chance to savour it and go out with the fastest lap. Ricciardo clearly joked, more than once, about this assuring him a nice Christmas present and hearing something about a $3.5 million bonus for fastest lap from Red Bull, which is ultimately the organisation that employs him to compete, or did, until he is binned out for Liam Lawson. Perhaps it isn't the ideal look in terms of pure sports ethics, but when was that ever the first concern in F1? The goal is to do whatever within the rules that helps you win. 
and in this case it could help Verstappen win the championship. McLaren the target of much attention this weekend, due to its mini DRS's low drag bendy rear wing, understands this better than anybody. Zach Brown may likely bring it up with the FIA, since it is an obvious example of the AB team cooperation he despises and has been preaching about for a long time. Finally, he has something he can bring up again. However, there are no regulations, yet, that prohibits two teams from being controlled by the same organization nor is there a rule that prohibits one of those teams from purposefully seeking the fastest lap to help the other win the championship. As McLaren team principal Andrea Stella later stated, we just have to work harder to make sure this title race doesn't come down to a point. He claimed he did not see it coming and was a little surprised the highest priority of racing balls in Singapore was to go and score the fastest lap of the race but a cynic might argue that he probably knew that's exactly what would happen once it became clear to Red Bull and RB that Ricciardo's race was lost and Norris was on for fastest lap unless something was done about it. At the same time, Stella elaborated, I have so much sympathy, support and friendship with Daniel that I'm just happy that he may add this fastest lap to his track record. When pressed about sporting ethics and how such a move may potentially violate the FIA's rulebook, Stella declined to be drawn, referring merely to the facts and adding, talk about sportsmanship would be out of place. At the same time, he stated that this is a constructors championship, a drivers championship, it is not a coalition championship, and that the problem of all 10 F1 teams acting in a totally autonomous manner needs to be definitely addressed. Essentially, Stella admitted McLaren has no evidence of deliberate collusion though Ricciardo's own post-race comments show it was clearly on his mind, and Verstappen was not subtle in his gratitude to Ricciardo when informed who had the fastest lap post-race, and we understand the FIA was not unhappy with what happened. But McLaren's previously stated opinion on Red Bull having two teams remains unchanged, and this is the latest reason it believes it should be investigated. But at the same time, this is the type of endearing stupidity that is in F1's DNA. In the same manner that McLaren discovered an ingenious Mini DRS's technological gap, Red Bull exploited a sporting one to reduce points loss. Neither is harmful, and Red Bull hasn't even crossed that threshold. If Red Bull deployed a lapped RB driver to directly obstruct or collide with a leading McLaren driver, it would be clearly problematic. However, Red Bull was merely capitalizing on the foolishness of the fastest lap bonus point system. But even without Ricciardo, Verstappen would have been saved as we may not forget that only a track restrictions lap deletion prevented Haas's Kevin Magnussen from claiming the fastest lap bonus point. That would be as unrepresentative of who was quickest over one lap and equally important to the championship. It is a weakness in the fastest lap regulations, not shared ownership. Red Bull has more potential to abuse that regulation since it spared Minardi's F1 team from extinction 18 years ago unaware that it would come in useful to help win a title nearly two decades later. To prevent this, improve the rule, or, better yet, eliminate a provision that allows for a false late pit stop plus the fastest lap run. Otherwise, this must be added to the hallowed pantheon of common sense inter-team strategies. It is up to the FIA to guarantee that there are no gaps waiting to be used. Having owned two Formula One teams for over two decades does not have to be one of them. Although if you ask Zach Brown, this is also illegal. So what do you think? Do McLaren have case here? Or was it just a coincidence because RB wanted to give Ricciardo something to remember? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below.